practice prepper. Hey YouTube, this is Practice Prepper, and this is about as close to a live feed as you're probably ever going to see on my channel. Right now, it is Friday the 12th at 9 minutes past 6, and just earlier this evening, I released my Faraday cage video, and already there's been a lot of comments from people uh, suggesting or asking whether or not I've run a test with this thing myself, personally. And the, the big test everybody talks about is putting a cell phone in here and seeing if you can, you know, get the thing to ring by calling it because the cell phones run on electromagnetic spectrum. And if this, this thing is allegedly blocking electromagnetic spectrum, you would expect, if it's functioning, for the cell phone not to ring. Uh, I've gotten a couple people asking me about that. Uh, I had one person telling me flat out that my whole video was, you know, bullshit and that, you know, if I put a phone in here, it was just gonna ring, so they, they just stopped watching. They probably, I think they, they might have said that they unsubscribed. They were, you know, letting me know how terrible the video was and how bad the information was. But it got me thinking, it's like, I haven't done the test myself. Um, and, uh, you know, there's a couple reasons for that. You know, primarily, it's just because Ultimately, I think I need to trust the, the science on it because I can't ever really run a full test. I can run a test putting a phone in here, but ultimately this can is not meant to keep me from getting junk phone calls on my phone. It's meant to protect devices during an electromagnetic pulse or a CMA or something like that. Um, so I can't run a full test. Now, if you know, the Democrats in Congress would you know, let me have my Second Amendment rights to have a personal nuclear weapon, then I could run a test on this. I could shoot my nuclear weapon up into the stratosphere, you know, explode it, have it created an electromagnetic pulse, and I could do a full test on this, but because of the Democrats stomping on my Second Amendment right, I don't have a personal nuclear weapon, so I can't run that test. But I, oh hey, the phone's ringing. Uh, it's about a, uh, can't take the call right now. It's about a CD cover design project that I'm working on. We're in the final stages of completing it, and um, I'll take that call later. Anyway, but yeah, I could run a test with the phone, and I did it earlier. I'm not going to tell you what the result was, but I'm going to run the test right now for you. That was kind of neat. Now you know that this is a real phone. This is a phone that's an alien invasion, and you know, just FYI, it did not actually get destroyed by a CME in, or an EMP in the series, it does function, as you saw. So I'm gonna put that right in there. And earlier in my test, I did not bother to do any tape around the edge, just because I was just like, well, we'll just, you know, we'll just see how it goes without the tape. So i uh, got uh, Amber's phone, and we'll just put the number in. Okay. And you can see I have self-service here, because I just got that call. Okay, and it's ringing, ringing, it doesn't seem like it's going through. That's the same result that I had, had earlier, uh, that uh, it does seem to block it. Now, uh, I am not in the best cell service area. Now, if you ran this test right underneath a cell tower, maybe you'd get a different result because there's a stronger signal there, but obviously there is enough signal to Wow, that was really neat that the phone actually rang during the take because it was like a demonstration that's like, look, there is cell service here. Um, but again, I don't live in like a super cell service area. So like if you ran this test underneath a tower, maybe you would get a different result. But also, I didn't even have to tape up any of these edges on the, the Faraday trash can and it still, you know, blocked the call. So there you go. Uh, I did run the test. That is my result. Um, I would encourage everyone to do their own test in their own area. Again, like I said, I don't live in an awesome cell service area. If you live in an area where you get a super strong signal, or if you're, you you want to take a field trip and go to the base of a cell tower and run this test, uh, you know, I would love to hear the results of that. So, yeah, there you go. There's your test. And I tried it, and the signal did not go through. I'll do a little other prepping stuff since we're here, though. Got a, right behind me. These are dumpster apples. Got some dumpster apples the other day. We're going to make some applesauce tomorrow on the wood stove. So I'm very excited about that. And what's in here is my boy's bath water. I uh, heat that up on the stove, keep it nice and warm and snugly inside of this uh, insulated pad all day. And then at the end of the day, he has a nice warm bath. And I keep a little bit of water in here just to spike up the temperature at the end because, uh, you know, it gets kind of cold at the end of his bath, which he's just finishing up right now. So I should probably go to do that. So excellent 
Thank you guys for questioning me because I hadn't done the test myself. It's always good to question things. It's better when you do it politely and not in like a real like in your face kind of way, especially when you make a claim such as if I put a phone in here and call it, it won't ring because then you kind of look sort of silly. But um, again, like I said, I don't live in an awesome cell service area. Maybe if this was done in an area with better cell service, you get a different result. And if you do get a different result, a different result I would love to hear about it. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.